Hi, I'm Jake with CMS Safety Suits and welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to be discussing and demonstrating the safe way to change a tire. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. The following are tools that you will be required to have in order to change your tire. A spare tire, lug wrench, and car jack. You will want to ensure that you pull over in a safe location. Be sure to place the vehicle in park for an automatic transmission and in reverse for a manual transmission. If you absolutely have to pull over onto the shoulder, you will want to place cones, reflective triangles, or any other warning sign behind the vehicle to warn passing motorists. It is always a good idea to chalk one of the tires, preferably the tire not being replaced that is on the same side of the car. Your vehicle may come equipped with a center cap or a hub cap connected to the lug nuts, which will need to be removed first. Then you will want to break the lug nuts free and only loosen them. Do not remove them as the weight of the vehicle is still on the tire. Locate the proper jack location closest to the tire and slide the jack under the vehicle. Make sure the jack is also level and there are no objects underneath that would cause it to become unstable. Never place any part of your body underneath the vehicle while it is supported by a jack. Once the tire is off the ground, proceed to remove all the lug nuts. Make sure to place all the lug nuts in a safe location where they won't get lost, such as in the center cap. But whatever you do, don't be like Ralphie. There we go. Oh. For one brief moment, I saw all the bolts silhouetted against the lights of the traffic, and then they were gone. Oh, fudge. Be sure to mount the tire in the direction where the valve stem is visible. Align the lugs to the holes in the spare tire and reinstall the lug nuts. At this point, the lug nuts only need to hold the wheel in place, so don't worry about getting them too tight. Reconnect the lug wrench to the jack and slowly lower the vehicle until the tire touches the ground and the jack can be removed. For five lugs, the tightening sequence forms the shape of a star to ensure the spare is seated properly against the rotor. That's it for this how-to video. Feel free to comment below or let us know if you have any questions. And don't forget to click like if you like the video. That's all, folks.